Timmy, we have a little uh, show and tell today. I've uh, been thinking about those November mule deer, chasing them with a the bow. Man, is there anything better than chasing a mule deer in November with the bow? Mm, not freezing your balls off would be a little bit better, but no, <laughs> it's, the, it's uh, arguably one of my favorite trips of the year. Well, we got something to share, man. We should show it up. Let's roll the footage. Yep, I am looking at South Dakota right now. Those Black Hills look legit. So much country. All right, we gotta get that spot picked in the Dakotas. Yeah. I, I like everything that you showed me on um, on X, and then I did some Google Earthing, dropped some waypoints. I got places to glass. Uh, it looks it's a good, sexy country, a lot of public land. Dude, what about camping, man? <sighs> um, it's gonna be cold, but I think we should just tent camp and be like mobile because I don't wanna be married to one spot. If there's hunting pressure, like I've seen everywhere else this year, I wanna be able to get away from people. There's some chance it's gonna be freezing ass cold, man. Yeah, and I'm really cold body, so I'm gonna bring a TP tent. Uh, so like, I got a seek outside stove, and uh, I'll bring that. I'll bring extra firewood for us. Um, and I'll bring a little buddy heater, and uh, yeah, I mean it'll be cold, but I think we should have the deer moving, and I'd rather have it be cold, deer moving, than the opposite. Man. Should we invite Josh? We gotta invite Josh. He can run a camera. He can hang out. He can cook us dinners. No, I don't know about that, but yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see if Josh is able to go. Right on. Well, let's get this workout done. That's good. Let's program a workout and let's hit it, man. Okay. Was just a little bitty boy with hopes and dreams Then those hopes they manifested to nobody dope as me Who dreams, rap wars, it's pop culture that's gorgeous Skywalker, that force is quite strong that I'm born with I got bored, I'll take it back Y'all asleep, you taking naps While I'm busy taking names, ho Lyrical assassin, cock it back, I'm taking aim Get out my way, I need space to get the fake up Get out my way, I need space to get the fake up Pick some cotton, pick my brain 
Pick your spot, pick your poison, pick some cotton, pick my brain. Pick your spot, pick your poison, pick some cotton, pick my brain. Pick your spot, pick your poison, pick some cotton, pick my brain. Get on my way. Dakota. I just wanted to film this. So we got enough gear, you think? <laughs> yeah. We're off, man. We are here. And due west. East. <laughs> Which is weird. 50-50. Sheep that was a ton of shit. I'm like, wow, that's not very many sheep. And then I start seeing all. You can probably get on those box right now. Give me a Dude, big swinging. Look at that thing. Dude, that is a pile of goats. check out first and then we'll decide if we want to camp if we can I mean we're seeing animals already so that's our main man Josh that's the TC golf dock and that is a warm fire we were camping in the snow figured out where people come up with it that way. She looks up, sees me, and they took off. There was, a, there was a, I didn't see, I saw a few places with a bear sign on certain hills, but that was the only bear. Is a lot of times we'll hunt over across the, the highway on the other side, on the other part.
exploratory stuff. Dan froze his nuggets off last night. And yeah, we're just gonna try to locate some deer. Something that gets you fired up. This is the ridge, so it's like basically the very top top. That deer fire you up on the left? Mm-hmm. Did you? With a little guy. And then I had that solo bed by himself. He was a nice, nice mature buck. What's up? It's day two. Yesterday was cool. We saw hundreds of deer all on ag. Not they were called anteloping, meaning they're just on ag ground. You can't really do anything about it, make a stock, or they're on private. But today we're looking for deer that are in mule deer country doing mule deer things. So that's what we're we're checking out some new country. He just robbed a bank, and so we have money, and we're gonna go kill stuff. Day two, the Dakotas. And yeah, I think yesterday was a pretty sweet day. We found like three or four bucks, nice bucks. I got to put a stock on one that got blown up by a antelope group of mule deer. So we're trying to find stuff that looks like this out here, but that we're allowed to hunt and a big ass buck to chase and douse. And we're using Onyx maps a lot to figure this stuff out, so that's what's up. That's why I brought that. It was literally, I thought, it's gonna snow when we're there. What you got going on, nope. Chef? We're going to fit in some broth, some jalapeno cheese broths, and we're going to get crushed. Good morning. Day three, South Dakota. Solo. New spot. Great glassy. Deer to the south, what you're looking at. We got deer to the west and we got deer to the north. We are, yeah, we're on a hay bale. Walk in, hay bale. I think we got a buck in this group. I don't know if he's a shooter or not. We're gonna take a closer look, hopefully, and get you guys some good footage tonight. We're getting ready to uh, jam out of here, but I just wanted to say all your faces and say hi. Yeah. Well, hello, and uh, it's like you guys have. It is channel 42. Got this new stuff at Walmart. <laughs> so those guys, hi, I love you. I will. I love you too. Have a good day. I'll call you tomorrow when I can. Okay. <laughs> That's a good, going to bed early, not leaving my house, not going to a party. My childhood punishments have become my adult goals. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for it to stand up. I don't know why the hell he was 20 yards from it, but that's how close he got. Field and moved the ground blind to the corner. And I just went out and did a big, yeah. you know, three mile loop. This is real good. Deer just kept picking me off. I could not get any sneaks. And then um, Josh and I drove.
my uh, boots are so froze that I can't get my feet into them. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the truck waiting for him to warm up so I can slide on in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. Hi, Tim. What'd you say? A little warmer with some insulation. Yeah, it's actually, it held its, it held its, uh, Hi guys, we are going to set a ground blind. So let me show you this. We got today's day, day five. This is a walk-in only. It's snowing, but in those trees way over there is a huge haystack. I sat there last evening as an observation post and just watched this deer get, this field get flooded with deer. And then a couple of shooter bucks right here, which is close, gonna be a tough shot, but like 50, 60, 70 yards, somewhere in there. So we got a ground blind set up next to this hay bale. Walk-in access, public land. Here we go. We'll get set up right here. Got a lot of room in this blind, so we're gonna get the chair in the back, and we'll get the camera on the tripod, get the bow set up, and rock and roll. Grab my pack and I'm good. Good luck, brother. Good luck, buddy. Shoot straight. Beautiful sunrise in the east. Flat, 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 and then really sexy bow hunting country for mule deer. Let's do this. It's like this where I can get out of the pen and just glass. I'm gonna spend 15 minutes here and just keep moving. I was thinking there'd be more deer density here, um, but it's so conducive to bow hunting. These deer got to get out of the wind. The wind's jamming up high here, and then they just drop down in these fingers. So I got about 700 more fingers to check, and I got all day. Um, just can't kill myself, but I've covered a lot of miles, and uh, I like this country. I just got to find, this is the kind of place a big buck can get big. So wish me luck.
I had these bucks in a pretty good position. Found them in a little draw, saw them bed, they disappeared on me. Got eyes on them from like 250 yards, and I had them in a really good spot. I just had to kind of round, round them and get on top of them. The wind was good. And this big buck that disappeared on me earlier, I bumped him out of his bed. So big buck got bumped. Damn it. Ran right at the little bucks. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And they all busted together. That's what we got right now. Move this ground blind 500 yards to here. This is the funnel right behind me and we're next to a hay bale. There's a few hay bales here. Two nights ago I sat on a hay stack and did an observation deal and I saw most of the deer funnel into this corner. Um, so we saw, we bumped a buck off the highway and then there was a big buck skylighted right there. So they're definitely kind of rutting now. Not hard hard yet but they're starting to get with those. So it's still pretty cold, it's 13 degrees right now. So we're gonna hike back to the truck, I'll get some lunch and then I'll come slip in here tonight. Yes. Big 
you, Lord. That is picturesque. Nice. Grim Reaper, Hades, micro three blade. That deer went 50 yards. I think we heart shot him. Dakota Muley, um, cool looking buck. 40 yard shot, he's 42 or 43. There's two giants coming, but I'm telling you right now, it's 13 degrees tonight, supposed to get down to seven. And we only have tomorrow, and I was actually ready to shoot does. Sat in the blind and I had does running into me. And I was like, I could see two big bucks in the back. And I was, they actually went to kind of fight. They were kind of squaring off. I jumped in. I'm pretty excited to have a buck down. I've blown so many stocks and uh, it's my first time in Dakota. And it's good to have some mule deer on the menu. We might even eat some backstraps tonight. And so it took me two days to figure out these deer. This is a good spot. I'll probably be back, Dakota. And I ain't telling anybody about the spot. There's a couple big ones. And Tim's still got a tag, so tomorrow hopefully he can get a doe or one of those bucks and we can double punch tags. Didn't want to do it out of a ground blind, but man, with these temperatures, it's been really hard. So at least it's not snowing right now. And uh, my buddy Josh is coming. We're going to drag this thing out, get some pictures, and call it a day. My deer are so big, the body. I'm a mule deer to get my self-imposed Western Grand Slam, but that would be a bear, an elk, a mule deer, and a Merriam's turkey. That might be a real thing sometime, the Western Grand Slam. But if I get a mule deer, that's that box checked off and it's been a great season. So not bad for a Michigan boy. Not bad. Yeah. I don't know how much luck I can get in the bottom of the ninth again, but yeah, we're going to give a hell. We've had opportunities. We've got to know the land. It's been, it's been a learning experience. We're a new area. We wanted to get away from people. So we picked an area that didn't look so popular and we're just learning as we go, but we seem to have some patterns and stuff figured out. And time to take advantage. Dan's got a buck down. I just want some meat. I'm not greedy. And we're gonna give it hell, close it out. I just wanted to capture Josh looking at these 10x42 Ultra HDs after looking at his, through his uh, whatever those are. What do you think? Good. My Bushnell 10x42s. You said it, I didn't. <clears throat> you see a little difference? Yeah. Wait till I, you see low light. Yeah, that would be. That's. I'll, I'll, I'll check them out when, when the sun goes down. Tim just dropped a doe, we got to watch it. Although, 
we saw six go in and only five come out. Honestly, we didn't see. Go ahead and just drive down here. Uh, he, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. He said he dropped it, so we'll see. But we'll be gutting a dough and getting her in the back of the truck and headed, headed back home tonight. So let's go see how we did. Dude, tell us the story. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, she just dropped. Oh, nice. You... Nice job. Dude, that worked like a plan shouldn't work that way. Well. You know? Good job, Timmy. It came out where they're supposed to. All right, so that wraps up Coda 2019. Uh, it was a buzzer beater. Buzzer beater, bottom of the ninth. We're about to leave. Came together smooth. She didn't go far, and that's a wrap. So, uh, we've been hustling to get to know the area and got our tags punched and we're going back with some meat in our coolers. It's been fun. It put us through, uh, put us through it, through the stuff. We got six inches of snow. We hit negative temps, kind of tested our will, but yeah, happy to be going back with a full cooler for sure.